What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're going to talk about those five things that you might be doing that's actually hurting your progression in the game. As you guys know, resources are not super plentiful when it comes to your resonance of your heroes and leveling them up, and if you're not taking advantage of every situation, well, you might actually fall behind. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, hit that subscribe button, let's talk about the, those things you, you might have already done, but don't do anymore. So like I was saying in that intro there, of course, the easiest way to generate resources is going to be from your daily resources. And let's be honest, if you're not constantly pushing this to the max, you are technically missing out on resources. I know a lot of people are going to spend most of their time doing the story mode, finding those chests around the map, getting the extra rewards, all that fun stuff. And we are expanding into new territories here. So Keep that in mind, that is good, but there are going to be things that are going to gate you as far as progression goes. Now, the one nice thing in this game is you have these situations where if you want to progress onto the next level, which we will show you guys right here, one of our examples, we are currently waiting to bust through this wall right here. And you'll notice uh, we've already completed uh, the mountains level two. We've already completed up to 495. We're just waiting for our current residence level to reach 110. And as you guys can see, we're still waiting on our fifth hero to get to 110. Well, if you're not pushing further than what is required for the lockout, you are missing out on resources because every single stage you go through is going to give you more and more resources. And you can kind of see it's not a huge amount, but it will add up over time. As you go through the levels, each individual stat will take its turn, kind of like being the next one to rate up. And honestly, I think the essence is the most important one, especially if you are going in on the battle pass here, the Noble Tavern. If you are any type of spender, I would highly suggest you get the Travel Lodge secret. Like, it's just... The amount of resources you get from this is probably the best purchase in the game besides the $1 purchase for uh, 10 epic invites as your first purchase potential. So keep that in mind. This is where most of your progress is going to come from because you're getting over millions of training manuals at a time. And of course, uh, sadly, the hero essence falls way behind all the other resources. But again, that is probably going to be one thing you are falling way behind on. So please make sure you're pushing this to the max. Even if you've already meet the check mark for the next zone to unlock, continue pushing. Now, speaking of actually leveling your heroes up, it's also important in the early game to level your heroes accordingly. Typically, what you see right here will happen eventually, but in the early game, keeping your heroes much closer together in level is going to be very important because not only do you just use all your top five heroes, in a lot of game modes, you're going to start using these secondary heroes, especially in game modes like Dream Realm, Battle Drills. These are going to be very important. And if your heroes are all 10 levels behind, that's going to be a little rough. Now, eventually you are going to run into these situa situations where the hero essence is going to be the big chokehold here. I actually just realized they actually give you some pack options up the top. I actually never realized that before. Well, if you're a spender, this is probably the way you break through your hero resonance locks constantly. As an average player, you definitely don't want to do that. Those are expensive and they don't give you that much besides levels. Levels are very powerful, which is why we're talking about it though. So typically what you want to do is try to keep these heroes within the same levels. And again, in the earlier game, you can do that. You want to keep your heroes at 61, 62, 63. You want to bring them all up together because one thing you will notice just giving your heroes like one to two levels in this game is a huge boost of power. You'll find yourselves completely stopped on a wave, but then you come into your resonance hall and you like upgrade these top five heroes like two to three levels each. And all of a sudden you're blasting through the content you were previously stuck at. So making sure you get that taken care of, leveling your heroes together, making sure all your resonance heroes are getting those levels too is gonna be an immense help. The next thing is Dream Realm. So this is going to be an amazing way to generate hero copies. As you guys know, uh, the leaderboard is very, very important as far as rewards go too. Uh, you can see there's all the different monsters. We'll be talking about them in the future, giving you guys breakdowns, optimal setups, and budget setups for this. Uh, but yeah, as far as your rankings go... You're going to get a ton of these resources here, the Tidal Essence and, of course, the Temporal Essence. These are important for getting 
skills unlocked to higher levels for uh exclusives down the road but most importantly in my opinion is the dream fragment because let's be honest if you're an average player you're probably somewhere down here you are getting some title essence but these dream fragments are very important you of course also get them from the actual reward structure based on the percentage you beat and how many bars you beat now because of that this dream store is very important taking an od up to about mythic mythic plus is your ultimate first goal please do not be purchasing anybody but Odie. why is that well because Odie is basically god tier in dream realm for three of these bosses uh essentially all but the necro dragon the snow stomper the skyclops and the king croaker he is best in slot damage dealer for just about everybody now after that is when you want to go for other hero copies typically the strategies go for od first and then start working on your merrily and why is that well because merrily is the best in slot for this hero the one od is not good for because you need heroes that are constantly moving around so making sure you're getting the correct copies with these dream fragments is very important after those heroes you can then you know build your corn up potentially get your kruger up since he's one of the best debuffers and then start spreading your power around but if you're not focusing on dream realm you are definitely slowing down your a tier progress another game mode that you really need to pay attention to is the arena so arena is really amazing because the first time you get to certain ranks you're going to get a huge influx of diamonds uh, and as you guys can see that just continues all the way up the tiers there's all these brackets uh, and you can even see in the higher tiers here I think starting right here you get 15 of those temporal essence at legendary one legendary two legendary three and then when you go even further you unlock the twilight essence which will be something you kind of need to worry about further down the road this also unlocks the timeless hourglass which is a really cool thing as well so making sure you focus on arena is very important and buying your additional attacks is going to get you there that much faster yes you are spending a small amount of diamonds for each purchase you can do up to five every single day but you're going to get more than refunded if your team is strong enough and you're going to get more diamonds and then that's also going to lock more summons and lastly but certainly not least is staying up with the news with the events and most importantly romo codes we had the video out earlier today showing you guys all 16 codes yes 16 it's almost 3,000 diamonds just from entering the codes and on top of that you're getting a ton of gold on top of it which i mean you need gold for upgrading your artifacts because you want to get them all maxed out as soon as possible leveling your heroes forging gear there's so many things to do and promo codes are going to help you guys get there so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you guys have any tips or advice for people that are watching this leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time